I'm Lilo and you're watching Headbangers Lifestyle and I'm here with Koen Janssen. He's the keyboard player of Epica. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have done something special actually. Uh, we did a shout on uh, social media and uh, we got some questions from fans I would like to present you. So it's going to be a fan quest. Uh, are you up for it? Of course, let's go. <laughs> okay, first uh, is uh, Hermes Peredo, and he's from uh, Bolivia, oh. and uh, he's asking, I would like to ask if they have any plans to do an acoustic or more acoustic songs, show, uh, like the bonus tracks on the latest album. Um, if we have that planned, we don't have anything planned, really, actually mm -hmm. we do, but that's, a, that's still a secret, I don't think I can tell you anything about it. But um, we always really like to do this acoustic stuff because uh, it's like a, being in a, on a playground in the studio and we can use everything we want and strip down the songs to their bare minimum, which I think is a cool effect and then we uh, approach it in a playful way, I think. So it's good to hear that people like it and that they want more of that. So maybe we will. Maybe. <laughs> Sooner than you think. <laughs> good. <coughs> Then we have uh, Alexandra Grab uh, from Austria. Hey there, question from Austria. What do you remember about the first time overall playing here? In Austria? Yeah. I'm not sure if that's the first time we played there, but I guess the one that I remember was our first tour we did together with Visions of Atlantis. And I think we, the first night was in Austria, don't know the city anymore, but they, uh, closed the night so we played first and they played second but we had to put the gear up a flight of stairs and there was only this uh, uh, lift for handicapped people so all the gear had to go up there and it went so slow and we had so much fun just watching like you can only put like two or three cases up and then you had to wait 10 minutes for it to go upstairs <laughs> it was really fun and that tour was, was really good in the end with Fish of the Land, so all the Austrian bands are awesome. Nice. If a song uh, requires a collaboration with three different voices, aside Simonis, which would you hope like it to be too? Uh, I know a difficult question, but spontaneous answers are always the best for a certain time. So, basically, what are my three favorite singers? Yeah. Or a collaboration? Maybe. I don't know. I always like to sing myself, and on the, those acoustic, oh. on those acoustic yeah. stuff, we sing ourselves but mostly. With, uh, like to make choirs. It's all fun games. But um, I'm not sure, we had we had a great uh, tour with uh, Christina Lacuna Coral. Uh -huh. She yeah. sang with us, uh, Storm the Sorrow, on stage. Annika van Giersberg as well. Great singers both. Um, Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really have a particular favorite singer. I think Tommy from Camelot is a really good singer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, live. I toured with them as well uh, so four or five years ago, mm -hmm. and he's really good. So maybe that would be a good yeah. collaboration. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Then we have uh, Hazem uh, Sherida from Egypt. Uh, the question is, when composing, how do you manage to put all these ideas and instruments together, yet each is well heard and has enough space to be enjoyed? Well, um, that's also a matter of mixing, I guess, so uh, that's a producer, producer's thing. Of course, we want to put everything in it, and maybe the, the producer's job is to separate it a little bit or just uh, shift it a little bit. But um, the good thing is that we can basically try everything and uh, also in the studio we are now in the, in the fortunate position that we can use every instrument live and you know, we can bring everybody to the studio and uh, most of the time you already know what's going to work or not so um, you know we always try to not try to go over the top but we sometimes go over the top with too much instruments but uh, you know it's, it's always fun and if the producer says it works it probably works. Yeah. You have to rely on the producer as well. Of course, as a band. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's always a puzzle, but you know, it, it, together with yourself, the, the band and the producer, you can always come up with something that works. Yeah. 
Don't you have a girl named Tatis uh, Barbosa? She's from Colombia. Uh, would you like to return to, uh, to pronounce this, Bucaramanga in Colombia? <laughs> and what do you remember most about that beautiful city? Wow, uh, we played there the last tour. That was, I think, Colombia. We we played there quite often, uh, and then also in very uh, in, in different cities. So, and when you do that, it's really hard to <laughs> remember everything because you go, yeah. you come, to, you come to an air, airport, then you go to a hotel, then to the venue, back to the hotel, back to an airport, and you do that every day. So for me, it's a. Uh, you know, I should remember something, and I'm trying really hard to remember. I think I know we had a nice hotel, and, uh, and we had some drinks with fans at the hotel late, uh, after the show, I guess. But I'm not, it could be a different city as well. Yeah. But how is the crowd over there? How is well, the crowd? Well, the, the crowd in Colombia is always great. Yeah. Yeah. There, yeah so there's something about like Latin America, mm -hmm. and uh, Colombia is one of our favorite countries to play in. Uh, Mexico is great for us. Colombia is great for Brazil. Um, and that's why we come back there so often and play there as much as we can because it's just uh, good for us. Yeah. Really fun. So you definitely want to go back there. Uh, always, yeah. Yeah. And it's a beautiful country. It's one of uh, really amazing how, how beautiful it is with all the uh, cities, but surrounded by like forests. And, uh, yeah. it's, it's great. Yeah. Uh, Bastian Günther from Germany. Sounds German. Yeah said, great Wacken show last weekend. Thank you. When comes a new full album out? It comes out when we uh, recorded it. And then <laughs> you have to wait like four months for the <laughs> record label to press it and then, you know, put all the stuff together. And then so first we can record it, then you have to wait four months and then it comes out. Yeah. But you have to write the songs first. Oh yeah, we have or to write songs Or are they for. written already? Maybe? Well, uh, not as of now, but after this festival season we're going to Take some time of touring okay. to uh, be able to write a new album in peace and quietness. Mm. So, so something is coming. So if you can do math better than I can, <laughs> then you can figure out when it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, uh, Jake Vezina from the U.S. Okay, also asked if you're working uh, on a new record, but you still have to. Go there? Well, there's there's always work and work. We're not actually working on it, but there's always work in, 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 the, brains. in the brain. Yeah. Uh, but he's always wondering, uh, what are your plans for the rest of the year, then, as well? Besides, uh, well, I have a family, mm -hmm. I have two small kids, and they take up a lot of time, of course. They yeah. have to be brought to school every day, and uh, you have to cook for them. Of course, my wife does it too, but. She's building up her own company, so when I have some time off touring, she can maybe put some more energy in that. Yeah. So, uh, and I like to do some sports in the meantime. And I'm building my own studio, so that's basically what I'm doing. And then, of course, probably writing music. And yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a busy rest of the year. Well, bu busy, <laughs> like as busy as you want to yeah. make it. Yeah. Right? So, of course. Yeah. yeah. I hope the questions are uh, answered for you. Uh, I would like to thank you, you know, for taking the time to answer them. Thank and uh, thank you for watching Headbangers Lifestyle.